The problem is that I got carried away because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I paid far too much money for it. We're never going to get our money back, but I don't care. Why? Because we've already got Le Buick, eh? That's why. Henry Cole is that motorcycle enthusiast and TV host who brings classic bikes and restoration projects to life. But there is more to his story than just bikes. Starting his career as a cameraman, Henry has always had a passion for storytelling, which is evident in all his shows. His journey from working behind the scenes to gracing the stage is shaped not only by his love for bikes, but also by personal challenges that has given fans a glimpse into what they may not know about him. So let's spill some tea about what you didn't know about Henry Cole. Born in Norfolk, England to an army major and full-time house mom, Henry Cole spent most of his childhood at Berkshire, schooling at the prestigious Eton College with Boris Johnson being one of his classmates. After his studies, he ventured into the TV and film industries as a cameraman working with channels like ITV and TF1 before diving into rockumentaries with some heavy rock bands. Around that time, Henry switched to directing TV commercials and movies. The experience he garnered within those periods provided him with valuable skills, allowing him to experiment with storytelling and also learn the basics of production. Having found his feet in the industry, Henry started working on various projects, from music videos to advertisements, gaining valuable insights. Some of his works led him to collaborate with notable figures like Elizabeth Hurley and Thomas Howell. But despite his flourishing career, Henry still felt unfilled. He still felt a void in his life. He felt drawn to a passion he had been nurturing since his youthful days, motorbikes. As opposed to what many know, that Henry transitioned into motorcycling later in his career, he has always had a knack for bikes. Aside from having a decent career, Henry's heritage is also pretty impressive, with roots tracing back to William Ewart Gladstone, the former British Prime Minister, who happens to be his great-granduncle. Speaking of his uncles, Henry revealed that his great-uncle, Redbeard Gladstone, introduced him to a world that would later shape his future. Having grown up in a 14-bedroom home with his mom, dog, and a tight-lipped father, Henry wanted to explore right from his young age, but the only escape was through his great-uncle, who invited him to see his shed at Liverpool. Stepping into his great-uncle's shed, filled with some breathtaking collection of old British motorcycles, Henry was instantly hooked in. The smell of oil, leather, and the sight of a Triumph and a BSA motorbike locked him with classics for life. Right there in the shed, Henry discovered a world far from his posh background, a world that screams freedom that he has longed for. And just like that, his love for motorcycles took off with a speed of light leading him to pursue a lifestyle defined not by status, but by horsepower. However, Henry's transition into the world of motorcycles didn't just happen suddenly. It took time for it to bloom into a full-time career. As his career in the media sector grew, he began to find ways to blend all the experience he gathered with his love for motorcycles. Having known how to create engaging content, he moved into the limelight, bringing his inner talent to life for viewers and the rest is history. As a man who breeds motorcycles, having a favor might seem hard, but not impossible. When asked in an interview, Henry revealed if he had to pick one motorcycle to take with him to the desert island with a nice network of roads, he wouldn't hesitate to pick his Norton Bista. Okay, so this is my Norton. To me, it's an icon because not only is the brand synonymous for me of everything British, the most beautiful motorcycle. Although the bike is built based on Norton ES2, it is customized with parts from different bikes. But despite the mismatch, it remains a delight for Henry anytime, any day. With the mismatched Norton, Henry has done a 400 mile ride through Wales for his show, World's Greatest Motorcycle Rides, and for a bike from the 1940s, it handled the journey well and proved itself dependable. Additionally, Henry mentioned a Steve McQueen Desert Racer as his second favorite because it ticks a lot of boxes for him. Choosing just two bikes out of the lots means finding a bike that meets every need and it's tough, but the Norton and the Steve McQueen comes close. 
However, Henry doesn't just have favorite bikes, he has a bike for every mood, which explains why he has lots of them. Henry spends most of his time riding alone trying to find a way to connect with each of his motorcycles. According to him, bikes don't talk, but each of his trips feels like a conversation with whatever bike he chooses. For instance, one of his favorites, the Norton bike, is his perfect companion for everyday rides to the Cotswolds. In contrast, his American Chopper unlocks a new version of him with intense dialogue during each trip. Simply put, motorcycles might be nothing but pieces of metal machine to everyone. To Henry, they are his friends whom he finds solace in. Right now, Henry Cole is evidently a household name in the world of motorcycles, but his interests go far beyond that. For a guy like Henry, adding car restoration to his hobby seems like a normal thing to do. His show, Shed and Barry Classic Cars, reveals that whether they're vintage cars or motorcycles, Henry loves uncovering the stories behind each one. Beyond this, Henry loves road trips, which has taken him to some amazing destinations around the world. For him, the trips aren't just about the ride, they're mainly about the people and cultures he meets along the way. Safe to say, his adventures fuel his storytelling, giving viewers a glimpse into diverse cultures and beautiful views. While Henry is en route sharing his adventures and making viewers happy, not many know what he had to go through to become who he is today. Looking back at the years between 1983 and 1988, Henry revealed those years were the hardest in his life, a period where he struggled with substance abuse. Although he has been clean for more than 35 years, Henry now makes himself available to support others suffering from the same ordeal. Reflecting on his journey, Henry mentioned how long it took him to realize life has more to offer beyond the confines of substance abuse he boxed himself in. Today, his life is now centered around contentment making him not just a TV host, but also a source of inspiration to many. Nothing beats being an inspiration of many across the globe, but making a motorbike show a success sits up there as well. Henry's motorbike show is currently Britain's most loved and longest running motorcycle magazine program and the secret is simple, he makes the show feel authentic. Also, the show isn't confined to just a garage or location with the same repeated setup, which could bore viewers. But rather, Henry takes the viewers on different road adventures featuring new locations without the viewers having to leave their homes. While the fans fall in love with the different localities featured on the show, not many know that Henry owns the TV production company that makes the show. This also contributes to the success of the show as it gives him the freedom to create unique content for his esteemed viewers, while also featuring his close buddies who makes the show more fun. Just so you know, Henry doesn't limit his love for motorcycles to just TV shows. Sometimes he takes on challenges and, so far, he has some world records to show for it. Back in 2013, Henry, in one of his trials, achieved a milestone by setting a world land speed record on a pre-1955 750cc motorcycle, a classic Brogue Superior reaching a remarkable speed of 99.78 miles per hour. But that's not all. In May 2023, Henry, alongside Alan Milliard, whom he met at his motorbike show in 2014, set a new Guinness World Record for the fastest tandem motorcycle ride at Elvington Airfield, North Yorkshire. Riding on Allen's Viper V10 powered by an 8-liter Dodge sports car engine, they reached a top speed of 183.5 miles per hour, surpassing the previous record holders. Now, what makes Henry's record interesting isn't just the main record, but also the fact that the Viper V10 was designed and built by Allen in his single car garage attached to his home. Off the screens, Henry isn't an entirely different personality. His lifestyle still revolves around bikes, adventures, and what have you. Outside his long rides, he spends time reflecting and writing about riders. In his memoir, A Biker's Life, Misadventures On and Off Two Wheels, he gave a sincere account of his love diving into details of how he felt lost at some points in his life and how motorcycling came to his rescue. Henry's memoir ignited a spark in millions of bikers, reminding them of the freedom their thousand bucks piece of machinery can provide. He captured the values of bikers as a worldwide community of like-minded souls who seek to live by the thrills of their throttles, embracing adventures on an open road, and not being pacified by a four-wheeler.